meeting people who live in different countries. Hi guys, my name is Christine and I'm a dating, relationship and personal development coach. And today I'm talking about what to do when you are meeting people who live in different countries when you are dating. So if you are having like some kind of like long distance thing with someone and you are going to their country to meet them for the first time or they're coming to your country to meet you for the first time, there's a few things that are really important that you need to consider before you start doing this kind of thing. Because obviously if you are going to a different country, there could be some level of risk there. So you need to be very cautious before you meet someone who lives in a different country, especially if you're the one that is going to that different country to meet that person. So obviously the first thing that you need to kind of do before you meet this person is have like a, a video chat with them or FaceTime with them um, so you can actually, you know, see them and speak to them properly. Because if you've only been messaging online, you know, typically people can hide who they are online. It's very easy to fake who you are online. That's why that whole program Catfish was a thing on MTV. That was really, really popular. Um, you know, it's so easy to hide and mask who you are. So if you have any suspicions, um, then I, sus I, I recommend that you actually try and do a FaceTime video call with them before you meet them, before you do anything basically, before you even arrange to meet them because um, you want to make sure that this person is who they say they are, right? And that is really, really important that you do that. It's also a good idea that you do check out their social media as well. Make sure this isn't just someone you've only solely been talking to on a dating website or platform or app or something like that. You want to have like their other social media accounts as well. You want to have their Facebook and their Instagram and stuff like that. Because um, usually you can tell by certain profiles if someone is genuine and if they're not genuine. So if they're tagged in a lot of things by their family and their friends, um, they have a lot of friends on social media, they have people that reply to their posts and things like that, especially if they have been tagged in photos, um, that's obviously a good sign that this person is who they say they are. Um, however, if you come across an account where there's just, like, it seems like they don't have many friends on their profile, they haven't been really tagged in anything, they have no tagged photos, um, they've got, um, you know, kind of like weird photos on their um, page as well, there might be that they don't actually have a picture of themselves on their um, uh, profile, it might be just like a picture of a random sunset, or it could be like an anime character, it's not them. Uh, so you need to be suspicious of those kinds of accounts where there's no nothing they've been tagged in, no friends that you can see, uh, no family that you can see that they've been tagged in and stuff like that, because that might mean that they are actually hiding who they say they are. It doesn't always mean that, but you need to be very, very suspicious of those kinds of accounts, and you need to make sure that you've actually FaceTime with them and spoke with them kind of in a, on a face-to-face -face kind of thing to make sure that they're a real person and they are who they say they are because stranger danger is a real thing. If you're enjoying the video so far, then please leave a like on it and please do subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if there's anything you'd like me to discuss in a future video, then please leave it down in the comments. Thank you so much. So if you do eventually meet up with this person, um, then I would highly recommend that you go to somewhere in the day first before you go out for like an evening kind of date. Meet them during the day first um, usually I would recommend that if you are going on your first date you should meet that person in the evening because that kind of makes the tone more romantic. But because this is a stranger from a different country um, and you don't know who they are um, and because you might be in a strange country it's best to meet in the day where there's a lot of people about so it could be like at a coffee shop or something like that and just meet them for the first time in something like that in so that kind of area where there's a lot of people around. Because again, you know, like I said, stranger danger is a real thing and you want to make sure that this person is who they say they are because they might show up and it might not be what they suggested on their profile. They might look totally different and completely have misrepresented themselves. Um, which is why it's really good, obviously, <clears throat> to do that FaceTime, do that video call first so you can actually see their face and see what they look like. Um, and when you do meet them, meet them somewhere like a coffee shop that um, is quite busy, you know, somewhere really central, somewhere where there might be a lot of tourists, 
somewhere where there's just you know a really a lot of busy people and if you know they suggest meeting you somewhere more secluded then you know that you need to really be very very wary of that person and maybe even change the plans and say that you can't make it because if you are going if you feel like you're going to be somewhere where there's not many people around then you need to be very cautious of that so also when you do meet them for a coffee you know keep an eye on your drink um, because you know all sorts of things can you know if, if you turn your back and they they might put something in it you don't know so you need to be very very careful with these kinds of things um, even when you do meet them somewhere like a coffee shop it might be good actually to get like a takeaway cup because usually on takeaway cups they've got like a lid on them so if they've got if they've got a cup with a lid on it that's really really good when you're meeting people from different countries when you're just meeting strangers in general you know that might be a good idea to do <clears throat> especially if you are a little bit suspicious and you're not sure if this person is who they say they are and when you are on this kind of date you know if something does feel off you can always leave if you just meet them for a drink you know I, I suggest this be the first kind of date most people go on anyway whenever you meet someone for the first time just go on a drink just go for like a date kind of drink thing because if you don't like them then you can easily leave and you know drinks also are really inexpensive you know usually you know these kinds of things like get, getting a coffee or just getting one drink you know it's usually quite cheap it doesn't require a lot of amount of money whereas if you have a sit down meal there's probably going to be more courses and things like that and those and you know the money stacks up so if you just go for a drink go somewhere inexpensive for a drink it usually will um, be a lot better for you because then if you don't like them and you feel like there's something off you can easily leave whereas if you're on a sit down meal with them it's much more you have to kind of stay there for a bit longer. I highly recommend that you watch this video on how to make great first dates. So one of the last things that I kind of want to leave you with is you know don't get too emotionally invested in this person until they have earned it through their actions and what I mean by that is, is you know don't get too emotionally invested in someone who you haven't actually met yet who you don't really know what it's like to be around them physically because you know they you know what the people can misrepresent themselves online so you might be having a great conversation but when you meet in person and you kind of reading each other's vibes everything might be totally off because as human beings we are designed to get to know people in person you know things like texting emails messaging you know those kinds of things have only been around for the last couple of decades like it hasn't been around very often and as human beings we've been developing evolving over hundreds of thousands of years maybe even more than that so um, you know, and we've always been, you know, around people in physical environments with people. So you need to get to know this person in a physical environment where you can read their body language, where you can see them in person and get to know them. Um, and basically, if you've only been talking to this person online and you haven't been video messaging them that much, um, then, you know, they haven't earned your affection yet. You know because basically, it's sort of like a fantasy in a way because you might be having a great conversation with them online. Um, but you know people can you know edit what they say people can you know put their best foot forward when they're using messenger and things like that you can alter what you say you can manipulate what you say whereas if you do that in person it has to it, you can't really do that as much because usually in person meetings are much more spontaneous you can't really edit what you say when you're saying it in front of someone you know so you know meeting people online and only talking to them online um, is a fantasy like you really don't know this person yet you don't know what it's like to talk to them in person where they can't edit their words and change their words and, and express themselves in that kind of way you need to meet them in a more spontaneous environment to to know whether or not if this person is right for you and whether or not you should continue dating them or whether or not they actually deserve your attention because most likely if you've just been talking to them they haven't you know and it's just been like on a messenger online kind of platform they don't deserve your affection yet they don't deserve that emotional investment that you've put into them wait for them to start showing it through their actions wait until you meet them in person and you two you know start spending a lot of time together physically in a physical environment where you can read each other's body language you know focus on that and if they are great when you meet them and you really like hanging out with them and they really like hanging out with you and they put in mutual effort then um, that's how you know if you this is someone who you can be with long term and whether or not you should start deciding whether or not you want to move to their country or for them to move to yours and things like that 
Um, so that's what I would suggest if you are meeting and dating people from different countries. Please be very wary of people from different countries, people from you know who live very far away. Make sure that they are who they say they are. Make sure that if um, they any if anything just feels off and feels suspicious, that you can easily just say no and stop seeing them, stop talking to them. If you'd like to get in touch with me personally, then please go to www.christineloveridge.com so you can get coaching with me. Thank you so much for watching and I shall talk to you guys again very soon. Goodbye.